Praise be to Jesus Christ and welcome to Catholic Forum. I'm your host, Deacon Jim Thorndale. Catholic Forum is really a show dedicated to helping people go into a deeper understanding of their Catholic faith. It's really an understanding of living out our Catholic tradition in life and really coming to a clarity of who we are as Catholics. So I want to welcome all those who might be joining us on TV today, on public TV, and those who will be joining us on podcast. And one of the things that we understand in our Catholic faith is we really are always looking for people who are really, really interested in going deeper into their Catholic life. And you know, it really is the heart of our church is our young people. And we have those with us today. We have young people who are dedicated to really understanding and opening up the mysteries of our faith. And I want to just welcome those that we have what today we have from uh, Baraga Film Festival. I have with us Dominic Ford. Dominic, I want to welcome you. Thank you for being here. I'm glad to be here. You know, it's a pleasure because it's really an understanding of youth coming together to really open up our Catholic faith and to really explore the mysteries of our faith. Absolutely. I mean, the youth is the future of the church, and uh, we live in a media-centric society, and so, um, so that's why it's kind of the inspiration behind uh, the Bishop Barrett Film Festival. I looked at you know, how many people are influenced by the media, and, and, and sadly, the, the message is very secular and really against our faith in the Lord. So um, kind of God just kind of just gave me this inspiration. says, you know what? Uh, inspire young people and encourage them to create films and, and to hone in their talents so they yes. can be uh, tomorrow's filmmakers and uh, creating great work for Christ in the church and rebuild the kingdom of God. Yeah. Now, you and I had an opportunity to get together about a year ago, and we talked about this before it started. And uh, I know that it came to fruition with, with these young people. They came out with, what, 25 uh, uh, teams involved in this, in competition? Um, well, actually, we had, we had 30 registered teams. Okay. A few teams didn't uh, complete their video. And um, we had four districts. And then, basically, the top two from each district um, qualified for the Champions Night. And we had two wild cards. And uh, it's pretty competitive this year. I mean, compared to last year, the, the video quality is just continuing to improve. And uh, we'll, we'll actually show some of these videos. And yes. it's just incredible to see, um, you know, how much talent and, and how, how uh, um, well these films are, these people are creating these videos. Exactly. So I, I'm excited. I hope that uh, some do feel called. I think some are called to, to continue to take the next step and maybe do this, yes. you know, as a vocation in life. Yes. Um, to, to carry films. And uh, so, again, you know, the sky's the limit what can happen. But uh, who knows? We might have the next Steven Spielberg in one of these <laughs> You never films, know. You know. And I, I, I really went through and I looked at these, and they were amazing videos. And I was, I was really amazed at the quality of the videos and the uh, professional of these videos because these took a lot of work for these young people to put together. But it was really an outpouring of our faith in these videos, that was so evident. And it was beautiful to see that because uh, being a Catholic born and raised, you really had appreciation for what they were talking about. But even a non-Catholic watching this would really have an understanding of how rich our faith is in, in watching these. And that was a power I saw in those. And absolutely, and you know, um, you know, each year we do have a specific theme. This year it was actually on um, the magisterium. You know, the, the, the theme was the church is the pillar and foundation of truth, which comes from 1 Timothy 3.15. And, uh, you know, each year we want kind of a foundational theme of our faith. And, to, you know, we even have catechesis to uh, teach the young people really about this great mystery of our faith. Yes. And then, you know, equip them or, or encourage them to create something um, that can be inspiring and, and teach others about yes. this great truth we have. Because, you know, some people realize, you know, it's such a gift, that, you know, the bishops and the magisterium, because we know that the Holy Spirit guides the church and that, uh, you know, when, when the bishop speaks with the pope, they cannot err. So we have certainty what the church teaches is Christ's teachings. That's right. And that's a gift that the world needs because we have so much, you know, air, you know, just kind of been traveling around the world with just secularism, you know, a lot, a lot of, you know, Christian denominations are compromising the faith, you know, and, and we need to stand uh, strong and, and, and can be that witness to yeah. the true faith and, and cause which really finds, or where you'll find true happiness when you do God's will. And so the hope is to see young people really, um, you know, embracing our faith and, and really um, to, to proclaim the gospel to all so they can truly be moved by the Lord and find their ultimate true happiness that comes in the Lord. So that's why it's exciting to see, you know, where, where this isn't kind of like a, you know, kind of a watered down or um, kind of a flimsy, um, you know, theme. This is something that's truly um, a, a powerful theme, uh, a, a, a theme that really um, uh, great, great witness right. to God and, 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 and uncompromising because it's, it's truly, um, it can be, you know, it can be hard for some people, uh, some of our themes because, you know, you know, it takes a great faith to think that, you know, you know, you, you have to humble yourself to say, hey, you know what, I got to listen to what the church teaches because it's guided by the Holy Spirit. You know, not everything I think is true. And, you know, sometimes because we, you know, we like to be right, right? You, know, you got to humble whatever the church teaches, we got to accept. And so it's just nice to see the, the loyalty of the, of the young people that they want to truly commit themselves to the Lord. They embrace the faith. They want to be obedient to the church and, 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 and truly do God's will yes. and serve him. So it's just exciting to see them 
and, their, and the Holy Spirit and their, and their own creativity to create these films. Um, again, that hopefully will um, not only just the process of creating these films move them to um, to learn more and grow in their faith, but also to share this to others. Yeah, you know, Dominic, you hit on a good point too because. It really is an understanding in our youth today that they're willing to submit themselves to God's will and they're willing to hum, humble themselves in, in the sight of the Lord. And that really is what this is about, is really coming into a profound understanding of living our faith. And I think it's exciting we have them here. And I, tonight I want to introduce them to, uh, to, the, to the people at uh, Catholic Forum here. So what I'd like to do is have you, uh, uh, this is the second place winners, correct? Correct. Okay, well, let's introduce them. Okay, so over here to our right is... Um, the uh, second place team. Yes. They uh, they they come from uh, Sacred Heart Jesus Parish, and um, Father Sirico. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> well, let's introduce ourselves. Let's go along and introduce ourselves. I'm Sophie Devozo. Okay. I'm Charles Lydell. Okay. I'm Ann Lydell. I'm Emma Black. I'm Simon Pistana. My name is Ben Moldering. I'm Daniel Richard. Here's my first question. What was the motivation for your theme? I mean, where did you come up with this motivation? Because I've seen the video. Where was the motivation from? Well, we really had a hard time coming up with the theme. And we were thinking a lot of different ideas over and over again. And we were like, well, you know, Bishop Berga, that seems kind of unique, you know, especially because it's the Bishop Berga Film Festival. Of course. And then so we looked into that more. And we thought, well, hey, it's the church is the pillar and foundation of truth. Well, he brought the truth to the Indians. And so we use that to show that he built up the Indian tribes like as a pillar and foundation of truth. Yes, yes, wonderful, wonderful. I'd like to just get a little feedback from each and every one of you. Tell me, what was your experience like to be part of that film? We'll start, yeah, where do you want to start? Um, well, I was producer, so I uh, oversaw everything. Um, I, I, I thought it was amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, we were not really like a group and I thought maybe like doing the film festival just kind of brought us together as a group and we I think we really enjoyed ourselves and you know it was kind of funny at the beginning I was pulling to get all these team members I could barely get him them to do it and I think by the end <laughs> they were very thrilled that they did it yeah wonderful so it was a good experience well let's hear a little more what, what was it like what was the experience like Ben what was it like for you for me, it was uh, a lot of fun because I got to really get to know my these great group of people. Um, I mean, I'm not a parishioner at Sacred Heart, actually. I believe it or not, I'm from Saint Isidore. So <laughs> oh, a traitor, a traitor. <laughs> so it's very interesting. I, I mean, I, I think I picked a, a great year to decide to help out the Sacred Heart group. So <laughs> um, it was really great for me because, like I said, I really got to get to know these people, which I before this I I just kind of knew them as acquaintances, so yeah. it was great to really get to know them as friends. Wonderful, thank you. And which part did you play in it? Uh, I played the, the Indian chief. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because our audience is going to see the video soon. Okay. Yeah, I thought that it was a, it was a great experience helping spread, uh, spread God's word. I think that uh, electronic media has recently taken the place of a lot of other forms of communication. And it's a, it's a really great way to um, get information to a lot of people and uh, that we can you know, harness that, that power and use it um, to um, help build up the church. I think that's a, that's a really wonderful thing. And I was, uh, I was proud to be a part of this and to get to get to know everyone better. So. Thank you. Yeah, basically everything that Daniel and Simon and Ben said uh, was the same with me. It was... It was so great to be able to get to know all these kids better, and um, some of our members are missing too. There are more of us, but um, the other thing that was really exciting to me was that I got to really help spread the faith through through this film. I, you know, going into work, I'd say, "Oh, guess what I did today?" You know, <laughs> I got to I got to be in a Catholic film, and some of my non-Catholic um, Co-workers came to the film and enjoyed it, and it was just so beautiful to be able to do that for the church yes. and to be a witness. Yes. Um, I was only an Indian, but it was great. It was fun to watch the other kids in their parts, and yeah, it was beautiful. Wonderful. Thank you. Well, I was the coordinator and also an Indian, and for me, I really enjoyed the film because 
we were able to discover how amazing Bishop Berga was and what a saint he was. And he really gave us inspiration um, to be better Catholics and spread the faith. And so I really enjoyed learning more about him and growing closer to him through our film and growing closer as friends also. Yeah, wonderful. So that's what uh, I played Bishop Berga. Um, I thought it was really cool just using our talents to um, help spread God's word and our Catholic faith. So that was really cool. I saw a lot of people, you know, a lot of my friends came. Um, it was just really neat to be a part of that and use our talents. So. Yeah. I was in Indian and I was also the script writer. Um, I loved it because it was an opportunity to use our energy as use and our individual talents to for Christ and for his church and for his truth. And I loved that you guys gave us the opportunity to do that and to because nowadays use they use their they don't use their energy as use yeah. and they waste it and they waste their time and I loved how we were able to do something like this and to use that for God and for his glory so that's definitely what struck me about this let me ask you all a quick question did you have an opportunity do you feel to witness to your non-catholic friends through this video oh yeah yes. definitely yeah. definitely so that was powerful for them to see that to really come to an understanding of who we are as Catholics yeah, I definitely think so. Wonderful, wonderful. I, I applaud you all for, for being part of that and for taking second place. That's a, that's a real achievement. Oh, you know, it was, it was really a tough vote. I mean, there were so many good videos. Like, I, I'm glad I wasn't a judge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would have had like flip a coin, so. Would, would you do it again? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you for your efforts because you know what? You are the, the hope and the heart of our church, the young people who are really coming to an understanding of what it means to live out your faith. And uh, uh, thanks be to God, you, uh, you hear the call and you, and you participated. So thank you again. Thank you. And congratulations thank you. for second place. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And now it's my pleasure to introduce to you the video that they have created. It's called The Snowshoe Priest, and I'd like you to enjoy it. My dear Sister Amelia, I hope this finds you in good health. In your last letter to me, you inquired about what drew me to missionary work among the Indians. In short, it was God. As you know, I answered his call to become a priest, but I knew that that was not all he wanted of me. After much prayer, he made it clear that he wished me to bring the gospel to the Indians, who were the farthest from his truth. I believed God was calling me to guide them into the loving arms of our Holy Mother, the Church, wanting the Church to be the pillar of truth that would hold up the Indian tribes. I set out on my journey on snowshoes. May God bless the man who invented them. He saved me from walking in knee-deep snow for many cold and weary miles. I finally arrived at an Ojibwe village in Grand River, Michigan. I was accepted quite peacefully at first, but when I began telling them about the true God, it soon became clear they were not happy with what I was trying to tell them. They ordered me to leave. Oh, Amelia, you do not know how discouraged I was. I had come all this way, leaving my home, family, and friends to tell them about God and his love for them, and they refused to listen. After I was some distance from the village, I knelt down where I was and prayed for guidance. I was alone in a strange land, far away from civilization, but God never forsakes those who trust in him. He answered my prayer. I knew he wanted me to return to the village and try again. I did this, but shortly after my return, the Indians ordered me to leave once more. I left but returned again. This was repeated for some time before they finally accepted me. They openly admired my determination, which I think helped them to listen to me with more respect.
After two years' time and by the grace of God, I was able to bring the entire Ojibwe village into the church. As you know, I continued as God's humble servant to spread the gospel to those who most needed it. I had many hardships, and at times I doubted my vocation and questioned God as to why he had called me in particular. But looking back on my life, I knew if I had not followed our Lord's calling and strived to fulfill his will, there would have been no point to my life. If we are not all living for the truth, then what is there to live for? I hope this answered your question, my dearest sister. I love you and please know that I pray for you daily. In the most sacred heart of Jesus, your brother, Reverend Frederick Berriga. Dominic, after seeing that video, I don't think it can get much better, but I would have hated to have been the judge on this because I've seen both videos. But now let's turn to the first place team and see how they did. And these are the winners of the first place, right, at the Berga Film Festival. Yes. And well, or this is um, Dominic, and he was the director. Okay. Yes. And this Dominic, what's your last name? I'm Dominic Krupp. Okay. And? I'm Maria Krupp. Nice. I'm his sister. <laughs> Thanks. Good to have you here. Well, oh, thank you. You know, and it was it was a powerful video. I've, I've seen this one too, and it was just a, it was a joy to watch this, and really a, a profound understanding of the truth that you bring, in the reality to young people about living for the Lord and really reconciliation and mm -hmm. the power of reconciliation. But let's talk a little bit about uh, what it took to put that together and your role in it. Well, initially we uh, we didn't really know what we were going to do, and then uh, then we. About two weeks before the deadline, we had to come up with something. So we were all sitting there brainstorming, and my mom happened to mention about having someone running away from something that they did, like something evil that they did. So I just took to the highest evil, which would be sin. So um, I just started writing, and it just kind of took off from there. And uh, yeah, so we, we were kind of under the gun, so we had to get it done. And it actually turned out way better than I was than I thought it would. So, so you work better under pressure, obviously. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> and so, now what role did you play? You, you, you were playing the role of Dominic. You played which role? That was uh, I was just the main person who would represent basically anyone in the modern okay. world. So. Okay. Kind of a generic human being who, oh, we all fall into that yeah. state of sin. Yeah, that, that would be it. Okay. And your role? I played sin, <laughs> and I had fire on my chest. You, yeah, you were Satan. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, and when our audience sees it, they'll understand what we're talking about. But it was a, it was a great depiction of, of what you were talking about there. Did you find it difficult to play that role? Um, kind of. I got frustrated a lot because he kept saying that we had to redo a ton of shots and stuff. But yeah. <laughs> but um, after we were all done, I was really worth it. Okay. And I I okay. felt really good after we made it. Okay. So when you were in this competition, how did you feel? That we, did you, were you confident about yes. coming in, placing somewhere? Yes. Yes? Yeah. You, you I was very confident that we would win. Did you, and you saw all 25 of them, I take it? Um, did, did no, you, I haven't seen all of them. Oh, I've haven't. only seen the top 10, yeah. and that's about it. Okay. But I, I, I kind of want to see all the rest of them, just yeah. see how they turned out. What was your sense of the top 10? I thought, I don't know, about the top five were good. Yeah. Were pretty good, yeah. Okay. So. 
So in putting this together, um, I'm watching these. These just don't happen overnight. Uh, there must have been a lot of work involved for both of you on this. How long did it take you to put this together? Well, from start to finish, it took about three weeks. So we took uh, three days of legit filming, okay. and which was about eight hours of filming at our church and around the church property, and, uh, and then probably a good 16 hours editing and doing all the special effects. So we were under the gun, so we got, we got it finished four days before the due date. So, yeah. And we had a lot of parts we had to go back to San Isidore's and remake. Okay, well, and so you had to refilm them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Refilm a couple we, times? we, like, edited it, and it didn't look good, so we're like, we have to go redo that. So we went back, like, four yeah. times yeah. to redo Three four times. parts. So did this teach you patience, this uh, experience? Yeah, it did, because we got back and we would arrange it all, and we're like, dang it, that doesn't look very good. Yeah. And we're like, we really don't want to go back, but we wanted nothing less than perfect, so we had to <laughs> pack up and head back and redo it all. Yeah. But it turned out pretty good, I yeah, think. Yeah, wonderful. In your experience in, in, in doing this video, did it make you more keenly aware in your mind about this beautiful sacrament of reconciliation and really how we do run away from sometimes the grace that it affords us? Yeah, it did. Like in, also in our film, we show I try to get in through the doors of the building and they're locked. That's supposed to represent the doors of the world. The world doesn't offer us reconciliation from our sins. Yeah. It would only be the church. So that's why I go to the church and I was left out by the yes. doors of the world. Yes. What did you take from it? Would you, did oh, you? Well, every time I watch it, I want to go to confession. Yeah. After. Like our, our siblings say that too. Like after they watch it, they like break down crying and they're like, I got to go to confession. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, you know, the beautiful part of it is too, is it's, it's one of the, the sacraments that our church ha has been slowly losing in our, in our Catholics today. And I think it's very and vitally important um, that you brought that up because it's really the lost sacrament. That's what it's been called in many areas of our church. And to have that deep understanding of what it means for repentance and forgiveness. If we as Catholics have that beautiful understanding that we can go before the priest who sits in persona, which you show of Christ, and we can be assured that our sins are forgiven. What a powerful witness that was to what you did there too. So mm -hmm. I want to thank you for that. And I, I congratulate you for their first place. Oh, uh, it took you. a lot of work, a lot of effort, and uh, it was well re rewarded on that. And now what I would like to do is invite our audience to take a look and see this beautiful video that you had. So thank you again. Right. Thank you. Touch others with the love and truth of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Truth will set us free. The Old Testament states that God is the source of all truth. In the depths of our hearts, there will forever remain a yearning for his absolute truth. But God does not forget those who fall away from his path of salvation. When we come face to face with our sins, the very evil we created, no matter how far we fall from God, his light will shine forth into the darkness to show us the way home to his household, which is the church, a refuge for the faithful, the pillar of truth. Dominic, I'd like to talk a little bit more about this. You had the, uh, the reward dinner for this, correct? Right, so we showed the top 10 films, and, um, and then we had a panel of judges uh, vote on them. We even had a People's Choice Award okay. where you could actually vote um, on your phone, which is kind of cool. And, um, and afterwards, we went up to, uh, it's called the Wave Room, okay. and we had uh, just like a, um, some hors d'oeuvres, catered food, and uh, we, we then announced the prizes, and it just, it just it turned out great. And what was cool at the event is people dressed up. It was like an Oscar-like celebration. Oh, wonderful. And, uh, you know, last year a few teams dressed up, but this year, like, every team dressed up. And so it just added to the excitement. Yeah. Uh, would you guys agree that just the, um, you know, this, the, the ambience and this, the, the, the environment was awesome to see everybody dress yeah. up? Yeah, it was. It felt very professional. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but, yeah, overall it was just great. And then, you know, one thing we did special, too, because um, we do want to promote the cause of, of Bishop Berga, is um, we, uh, we had the whole theater say a prayer for some, you know, actually we chose somebody who was really ill and, and needed a, a miracle. And um, uh, Deacon Ken Baldwin oh. was just, uh, just, a, a, just, just an incredible apostle in our diocese. Yeah. And uh, um, he has uh, Lou Gehrig's disease. Yes. And so we, um, we had the whole theater pray to Bishop Berger uh, for a cure. To his um, ailment, so and that's what we're going to do every year. It's, the new thing is we're going to actually choose somebody who's really ill and just have everybody come together in prayer and uh, and seek um, Bishop Berger's intercession. That's a wonderful because Ken Baldwin is a friend of mine also, and I uh, thank you for praying for him because uh, uh, by the grace of God, he will in God's providence, uh, he will take care of him on that too. Would you consider do doing more films? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely. Yes. Yeah, we already have some plan for the summer that we want to do. Yeah. They're not really uh, church related, but they're just for fun, mostly. Once you get the first one under your belt, it's kind of exciting, isn't it? It is, yeah. Yes, yes. Well, you know, it's been a pleasure having you here. It's been a pleasure really seeing young people, the second place team and the first place team, really coming to an understanding of living their Catholic faith. And that's really what you've done. And not only have you uh, demonstrated it on the video, but I just have the sense, looking at all these young people here today, that you're really living it out in your life, too and really having an understanding of what it means to live a Catholic life and being faithful to the magisterium of the church. So I want to thank you again for being here. Dominic, I want to thank you for all the effort you put into this. Thank you for what you do in being the director. Thank you for being here. Thank you. It's been a pleasure meeting you, and I just want to wish you the best in the, in the future films. Right. I want to thank everybody who is watching us on TV for being here. And as always, we give all praise to Jesus Christ in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.